This James, you obviously played on that Patriots <laughs> defense. What is your reaction to that commentary? Um, I think uh be honest with you, it's a, it's a it's a little correct, but you know, it's still good players on that defense. Um but to be honest with you, if you go over it and you look at other defenses across the league, they're not considered in the top of the, you know, the nope. best, but they were at the pinnacle of what the ultimate goal is of winning mm -hmm. a Super Bowl. So the coaching is definitely far superior. Um, but uh, like like you said, I wouldn't I wouldn't knock the comment. Um, but uh, it's, it, it still is some good players on that mm. team. Are you okay with Jason Kelsey just saying that? Does it, does it feel like? It, it, to be honest with you, yeah. it, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not a far-fetched statement. He ain't lie. Ain't no lie in that statement. No. We've been saying that all along. They don't have, they don't have an Aaron Donald or Von Miller or Khalil Mack. They don't have one of these top end, uh, a Keekly or Bobby Wagner play in the middle. They don't have a mm. top flight corner. Okay, I, I give you that. But there's some gloat in that statement. No, no, but he didn't. There's truth, but gloat. But when truth. you, but when you look at what they do yeah. defensively, and you look at how they're able to do it every single year, with no big name talent. That's in and of itself is an accomplishment. It goes mm -hmm. to what James is saying, what Kelsey is saying. That's mm -hmm. great coaching. Mm. Well, it also helps when your quarterback can score what thirty? What he put up? Thirty three points? No, but but what happens when your defense can't? When your defense gives up thirty four, you lose. Well, next question is: What happens when your best defensive back is standing on the sideline for the whole game for inexplicable reasons? I don't know. What did you think, Mr. Um, I, like I said, I didn't know what was going on with that until it actually uh, happened. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the reports that were out there, all that right there is BS. That's not true. It's About where he was during exactly. the week. Exactly. Okay. That's, that's false. We buy that's, that. That's, that's, not, that's not true. Okay. Um, you know, what it came down to is after I ended up speaking to somebody after that is they thought that uh, his preparation throughout the week when they saw him practice that, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't up to what they, they needed to do. To uh to win the game, um, between you and me, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have cared. Like less, at least at halftime, let's throw him out there, see, see what he can do. Yeah, something. Because I mean, <laughs> we're we're having a hell of a time out here. I mean, the backup quarterback is torching you, and I'm pretty sure not really he could have backup. Come huh? on, it's not well, really I, a backup. Well, he called they had the two number one over there. He, like, all right, all right. He he I think he's really good. He did win an yeah. award okay. last night for that performance, uh, Skip. Yeah, well, all right. And he just might win the job next no, year. No, he just not. might because he looked like he was better than the starting quarterback. To me, I thought he played brilliantly against you guys. He didn't make, like he that. didn't even come close to making a mistake. True. No. Yeah. True. So I mean, so what's the problem, Skip? I but, mean, you, but he it, can't get. Him. He's a Patriots fan. I'm yeah. not a Patriots. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Brady. He's fan. a Brady. Okay. Hall of Brady fan too now. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going. How lie. can you not be? Yeah, yeah but not, not of that workout. You ain't afraid of them workouts he be doing. He's a real good guy, though. Yeah, I, I believe nice. that. He is. He's a great like, guy. To be honest with you, listen, I wanted to hate this dude. Like, the whole time I'm playing, <laughs> like, the yeah. whole time I'm playing the Pittsburgh, I'm yeah. like, I, yeah. I, I, I hate Brady. He's, he, I got it. Everyone's like, oh, he's such a great guy. He's such mm -hmm. a nice guy, you know. You know, we got um, uh, the running, but we got uh, Garrett. He, LeGarrett, mm -hmm. he came over. And I'm like, yeah. man, what's up with Tom Brady? Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, man, he's a great guy. I'm like, stop lying to him. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's not. So as soon as I get there, who's the first person I see? Smile and happy face. I'm like, yeah, he's just he's, he's just doing this because yeah. he got to do it, right? Fake, fake. Yeah, he's just faking. Yep. So, you know, you watch how he moves mm -hmm. in the locker room, how he communicates with guys, different mm -hmm. guys, yeah. you know, guys that have been there forever, guys that's just getting there. And, dude, he's a, he's a great guy. He's one of the yes. guys, right? Yes, he is the ultimate teammate um, person. Um, it's... it's uh, I, I can't. It's nothing I can knock. Would you work? Would you do that TB12 method? Can you explain? I can't. That? Well, see, you got to understand this. For him, he's a quarterback. Right. He doesn't have to sit there and physically get into an altercation with a man that's 100 pounds heavier than him or that's the same weight as him and throw him around. Right. He's a quarterback. He right. has to throw a football. Right. So his method works great for him. But if I was to sit there and do that, <laughs> I would be out of the league in like two <laughs> years because I wouldn't be able to physically dominate a tackle. I need to have weights. I need to be able to throw around, you know, yeah. sl sleds and everything else mm -hmm. because I'm going to be pushing on a guy. That's what I've been trying to tell, Skip. Yeah, let yeah. me interrupt real quick. quick. Shannon just can't get enough of body shaming Tom Brady over his beach picture that, that he posted. Can we see it again just so we could remind everyone just how bad he looks? Oh, yo, but I'm body shaming. You well, talking about I, I'm just saying – 
just so we could see and maybe Mr. Harris Where is that? Right there. I'll weigh in on it. Behind you, behind you. Behind me. I'm not even looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> he good. He good. The man, for, that, listen, yeah. the that's man what he 40 did. years that, old and he playing quarterback. But that's what he that's why he that's why he brought Giselle out there. Giselle his like arms, him. his arms is good. They're good. No yeah. doubt. They're good for yeah. a quarterback. Yeah. Oof. Jay, look at that. It's Come dope. on, Shannon, look. Oh, I know. But that, but that's what I'm he trying to He got the start of a delt right here. <laughs> He's got the, the start. start. Yep. It, it, is stopped right there. it, it, it yeah. started and stopped right there. Yeah. But the t- that works he for a quarterback. For with his wife, no question. Mm-hmm. But see, that method works for a quarterback. <laughs> yes. But what happens if you don't play quarterback? If you don't play quarterback, I don't I don't think it's gonna it's gonna work. Like maybe maybe a receiver, that's something that you could work with. Like I said, once you get into positions of like like offensive linemen, uh certain tight ends, well any tight end, because at yeah. some point you gotta put your hands right. on somebody. Right. Mm-hmm. Um defensive linemen, fullbacks, you know, linebackers, that's I don't I don't believe it's gonna work because you're not strengthening your muscle, you're not tearing down muscle, you're not building muscle. Um, he, he doesn't play that, but he, he, he's not going to play linebacker. But, next here, but, here's the th- but here's the thing. Tom don't have to hit nobody. No. Skip, but here's the thing. He does have to get hit. Okay? The TB12 method, so what? So if I don't want to look like a quarterback, then what do I do? If I'm not a quarterback, what do I do? Because strength and, and training is about overall. I'm going to give you this. He does not eat as cleanly as he suggests that he does. Oh, no. Or you wouldn't have the love handles. No. I'm sorry. No, he got handlebars. There ain't no okay. handle, them I, handlebars. Okay. I'm with you. But he does stress pliability for right. a quarterback, mm-hmm. longer muscles, yeah. so you can absorb the blow instead of being rigid and tight, and, you, and you're going to tear. It's the tear. same thing. You could do the same thing with, with yeah. lifting heavy weights. You train the full length of the muscle. Yeah. You stretch before. You stretch after. Um, his is, like I say, he's a quarterback. I know, but he you don't... need power. But he would tell you you're, you're more likely to tear because your muscles are so tight. Be- because they have to be, because you need the power. Explosive. You get, you're right. Explosive. Yeah. No, I, it's I, I, the I, difference between tight and explosive. Okay. Thank you. Do you stretch much or did I you? Stretch a lot. Okay. Because that's all. Before I does. work out, I stretch. After I work out, I do a thirty or forty-five minute wow. warm up before I even lift a weight. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I keep telling you that, Skip. Right. Well, who was the MVP of the league last year? The it, whole NFL. You knew who you was it? Do that. You knew that. It was him. Well, how do you explain? How can you win MVP with that 40-year-old box? Because the football don't weigh that much. No question. Tom, Tom is a great quarterback, man. The best right. ever. Like, so, so when you were a Steeler, why was he so successful against the Steelers? What's the secret? What, what was the reason? Well, at first I thought he was cheating us. I know. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't a lot lie of people to you. did. I, I, I thought he was. Yeah. He might have did. He might have did. I believe he, I well, believe my, he cheated us. My friend us Ryan with. Clark that I knew at ESPN yeah. that you know very well, he <laughs> yeah. was asking hey. about that. Right. I think they cheated us. Like, listen, the one game we beat them, we beat, we beat uh, New England, not New England. We beat uh, Philly, then New England. Okay? Mm-hmm. They came back that year. I was Chip playing special game. team. What? Mm-hmm. They hit us on 86% of our blitzes. He checked down and out of 80. How do you do that? You can't even do that on Tech Mobile when you only got four plays. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When he wasn't cheating, how did he beat you? He is a great quarterback. He reads. Like, to be honest with you, I've never seen anybody with his, his study habits, his, 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 uh, his preparation. Um, literally, you know, he's filling up a whole notebook, you know, uh, of notes with each game. Um, you know, even, you know, leading up to uh, the game that we were playing in the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. uh, we come in and it's, uh, I think it was Monday, we ended up coming in and, you know, my locker's like the third locker from the door. Mm-hmm. And as we're leaving the meeting, he stops, taps me on my shoulder. He says, get ready, we're about to score a lot of points. He told Ooh. me that Monday and that was like 10, what, 10, 12 days before the game, um, you know. Like I said, his his preparation, you're not you're not gonna beat it. He he yeah. sleeps. Like even watching a film of plays on NFL network on uh Instagram, mm-hmm. he's breaking down, oh yeah, this is what happened right here with that, da 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 da. The D B should have did this or the mm-hmm. corner should have did that, the safety should, like he's always, always studying the game. And remember, it's one thing to study, it's another thing to read and react on the fly with yeah. you guys flying at him. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean that's. Yeah. Well, you would tell the guys that love it. Mm-hmm. He loves it. Yeah. I mean he he throws guys open. You know he has he has a great arm. You know you got where you know you see a guy. I'm like oh he's about to get it. No, nah, and he 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 just throws the guy open. How how many times did you hit him hard? Do you feel like in your Pittsburgh days? I don't really feel like I gave him a good one. Um, 
If he got back up, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. No, that's there true. You, <laughs> you were there for a couple of months. How was the interaction? What did you see between Coach Belichick and Tom? All these stories that come out, like all, all this friction and stuff, mm -hmm. I honestly believe that is made up. I came in there looking. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm about to see what's going on. <laughs> no, 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 they got troubles, no, too, no. just like everybody no, else, right. right? I get in there, and I see nothing. Um, you know, they're, they're interacting, they're talking. I don't, I, don't, I don't see any friction. I believe they just make up these stories to put a team tighter and closer together, because that's really all it does. I don't know. It feels like a Cold War. It feels like Brady's been anti-Belichick this offseason. He's not participating in any of the mini camps. He's, I believe he's getting older, man, and, yeah, and he wants he to spend more time with his kids. He and does. He, I think he's seeing the, the, the end of the road coming, and uh, right now uh, he feels like he can get the things done that he needs done and still get to be able to spend more time with his kids. So how many years can you see him playing at this level? Whew. Taking care of his body. Uh, his method seems to work. I mean, I don't... I don't Two, three years? He says 45, so he's about to turn 41, 41. August 3rd. Could you see it? Five 45, years. 45, five years. A lot of, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a violent game. It's, it's violent a physical game. game. Um, better pray a lot. You got to stay healthy. That's, that's, a, mm -hmm. that's a big issue. Um, that would be if he stays issue. healthy, yeah, 45 is easy. And, and your fire has to keep burning. Your, your yeah. love, you know, you, yeah. you, you got to want it. You got to want it. In do. ways that you you ended up, you didn't want to do the meetings. Anymore. Well, James Harrison had got that hit on him like he was supposed to, uh -huh. like he was supposed to, or he wanted to. <laughs> Maybe it'd be 41 or 2. No, nah, he would <laughs> No, nah, if, he, if he'd have got that hit like he got on, who, who'd you hit, Cribs? When he came across the middle that time? No, that was, I hit Cribs on a, on a running play. I hit, um. Massaquai. Massaquai, yeah, on the on the Listen, I didn't even hit him hard. Like, honestly, I'm going to tell you right now. I didn't hit him. I let, I let up on him. I gave him the uh so that he would let go of the ball. Right. To be honest with you, if I knew they were going to find me $75,000. I would have got every penny of that. <laughs> <laughs> you made it worth it. No, you oh, yeah. no, no. If you'd have hit him like, no, you wouldn't have got 75000 if you'd have hit him like you wanted to. You know that. <laughs> I might have I got some games. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 They had just started finding big there. I might have got 100. Maybe. You got a game. Oh, man. They gave me a game for hitting, what was that, Colt McCoy or somebody? <laughs> Colt <Yeah>. McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with you and the Colt and Browns players? I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> You always catch them slipping. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's slipping. It's just, you know, it's, it's timing. I guess they got great timing for me. <laughs> <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> 